Hello there Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. This is the card we're going to create today and this is a simple technique but kind of a wow factor with using baby wipes. So let's get going. We're going to use this stamp set. This is Thoughtful Branches. This stamp set is coming out in August. So the August 2nd you'll be able to order this. It does come in a bundle with a set of die cuts as well. And I would encourage you to check out my Facebook page or my blog because I am doing a virtual class on this one and you're going to get the bundle so you'll get your very own stamp set your very own set of dies and you're going to get a virtual class for free which means we won't have a meeting uh, in my stamp studio you will actually get the class either delivered to you or sent to you and um, you'll have a video tutorial that you'll follow along so you can stamp in your pajamas at your house whenever you're ready so uh, let's get going though with this um, awesome technique so what I did here was start off this is my stamp and pierce mat and I covered it with some cling wrap and that's just to protect it because the ink is going to soak through so uh, this is a, a just a regular old baby wipe it is folded in half and the three colors i'm going to use are rose red blushing bride and pink pirouette so i'm just going to take maybe 10 or 12 drops and just kind of randomly put them here on my baby wipe and I want the bleeding to occur. So uh, the other step I'm gonna do is uh, Blushing Bride, just a couple drops of that. And you have to give it a little bit of time. You wanna make sure you don't really have some white areas in there. That's what we're getting at is um, allowing that ink to bleed and not have white areas in your um, on your baby wipe and this wipe is actually going to act as the stamp pad so we're going to stamp our image in it now I did do a lot of work um, because the way that we had done this in the past it's been that long I had rubber stamps I had the wood mount stamps and just stamping on a tray or a plate or something that that um, had a hard surface worked just fine um, I tried it again with this technique. It did not work as well and I think it's because this stamp set is photopolymer and it needs to have something a little bit squishy um, to help it absorb the ink a little bit better. So we're going to set this aside for just a couple seconds and I'm going to pull in a piece of white, our Whisper White ink and our old olive sorry our whisper white paper and our old olive ink and I just want to ink up the grass and stamp that on my whisper white piece and then I went ahead and I pre whoops pre big shotted my tree so this is a piece of the dye that is going to be available with this bundle. Now you can buy them separate if you like or you can buy them um, all together in a bundle and I am really enjoying this stamp set. I've been working with it all weekend and I just think it is gorgeous and mainly it's because of this tree. I mean it kind of reminds me a little bit of I guess maybe it's the tree of life and uh, I thought that was really cool. So you can have it so that it is just a bare naked tree or you can add the leaves over top which is what we're going to do with this one so um i don't have my poker tool so i'm going to make do here now some of it's going to get covered up so i'm not too worried about it um, i do run this through the big shot using my precision plate i found that that does work a little bit better because of all these little details in here of the branches and then i use the dye brush and I do have to do a little bit of poking to get these little tiny pieces out, but they're cut. So it's very simple. If you have your poker tool right beside you, which, you know, I think I'm prepared and then I never am. So um, you can just kind of poke those away. And I don't mind doing that so so bad. I, I As long as it's being cut out, I don't mind it. Um, and the precision plate does help with that. So um, to get this on, I really enjoy the fine tip glue um, for this one because it's so intricate. So 
I just take a little bit of the glue. Here's one, here's a little helpful tip. See how it's kind of already started to round a little bit? That happens in the precision plate. I will kind of start to round it back the other way and that will help your glue stick to your paper a little bit more when you're already trying to make it go towards the paper instead of bowing away from the paper. The other thing that I like is to just do dots. Instead of covering every square inch I just do a lot of little dots in the thickest area of the die. That way you don't really have it kind of squishing out from the cut area, which in this case, not really a big deal because it's covered up mostly by the tree branches that we're going to create here, or I'm sorry, the tree leaves that we're going to create. So just a couple dots in the thicker area. We can go ahead and glue that one down a while. Oh, I just stuck myself with that pin that's in there. Good heavens. Some days, Mondays are better than others. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that down. I want to give it a couple seconds to hold and adhere. Because it doesn't want to stick right away. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to rub the back side. And that's going to help the glue really stick to my cardstock. Okay, so we'll set that aside. We're going to come back in here now and see how it's bled a little bit. And we're going to use, this is the big um, leaf stamp. The other thing that this does, not only does it make a tree, but it also makes a gorgeous um, hydrangea. So, um, and I and I love seeing the samples on, on Pinterest. There's some great ones. Again, you'll have the rubber here that helps you to know where the top is. And then your die will also have the point there for easy lining up. So we're just going to ink this stamp. You're just going to put it down. Most of the time we kind of tap around when we're inking up our stamp, but this time we are going to um, just let the ink pull onto there without moving it around too much. Now guess what else I need? Peel this off. Now you can also use this a bunch more times. Two squishy pads is very helpful. There's my white piece of cardstock. <sighs> Let me kind of re-wet that a little bit. And then I'm going to stamp down onto here and then I'm going to hold a little bit so I can try and give it time to release from this stamp and onto my paper because it's photopolymer so it's a little bit sticky. Make sure I have it in the middle there. And there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? So then I'm just going to die cut that out and I'm not going to, I'm not going to make you guys watch me do that. Die cut this one out and then you're just going to adhere it uh, with some dimensionals onto the tree. I did a little bit of the twine here around there and then I just matted it on some Blushing Bride and Soft Suede. So I'm going to put the dimensions. I'll make sure that they're in the video, but that's really all there is to it. Now, like I said, with that baby wipe, you could probably get maybe five or ten more images. So go ahead and make extra cards when you're doing it. You'll just keep using that as a stamp pad and, um, you know, maybe get five or 10 more cards out of that. So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, comment on my video and otherwise I will see you guys next week for Movie Monday.